Okay, this is what happened this morning. I woke up healthy and alive. I was so grateful to God. I was happy in my life. No boyfriend, no husband, no kids, and broke. But I like it like that. I was going to work. Then I get in the trolley, and that woman, she told me to go back to my country. Fucking African. She told me to go back to my country. And guess what? This is sad. Because she is black. Black like me. You can be racist, bitch. You black. She told me to go back to my country. I said, bitch, at least me, I know where I come from. At least I know that I'm African. At least I know my story. At least I know I come from Niger. I don't need DNA to figure out where I come from. I said, this America is not your country. You was born and raised in America, but this is not your country, bitch. You better know your story before you open your fucking mouth with your itchy ass and tell me to go back to my country. She be like, oh, you better watch your mouth. I said, you watch your mouth, bitch. Damn, damn dog, you motherfucker. You are motherfucker. My African accent just kicking. And she said, oh, I'm going to paper spray you. I said, no, you're not going to get a chance to paper spray me. I got to fight for my life. I got to go to work. I don't need no paper on my face because I will need to call out if I got paper on my face. So I just, there was a lady between us. I just jumped in that lady's, or over that lady's head, and then I slap her boobs, and then I run back, like corvée, corvée. Then I go, I slap her, then I run back, then I slap her. I had my backpack. I just slap her breast. Like here, you know, it hurts so bad. But I just slap her breast and run. Because I don't need no paper. I'm not ready to get paper on my face. And then I slap her. Then I go back. I say, you bitch, you motherfucker. You damn damn dog. Watch your mouth before you open your mouth and tell me to go back to my country. At least I got country. You don't know your story, bitch.